It took a penalty shootout to decide the outcome between Green Bay Primary and Villa, in which the latter emerged 3-2 winners at the Golden Grove Field to extend their undefeated run in the competition. During regular time, after beating the final defender, Mario Lewis put a low strike past the keeper to give his Villa side the 1-0 advantage in the first half. Before the interval, the equaliser would come from LeBron Prevost, who placed a cross into the back of the net for the Green Bay boys. At the end of the full-time whistle, the two town teams had fought to a one-all draw. Captain of the winners, Shumba Thomas, believes a more attacking style of play is one way for his side to keep winning. I think we should pass more quicker and take more shots at the goal and communicate. Although he accounted for a run of play goal and a penalty during the shootout, the budding star Lewis feels there is much room for improvement in his game going into the semi-final encounter. Not really good because we we'll give some opportunities and miss a goal. Earlier at the same venue, Golden Grove put on a clinic in a 5-1 demolition of JT Ambrose Primary School. The hosts were greatly indebted to a hat-trick from striker Janiel Jacobs. Coach Karen Warner says the team stuck to the strategy and it paid dividends. I think it was a very good performance. Um, the guys stick to the game plan. Um, we were basically playing behind the ball in the first couple of minutes in the game, see how the opponent play and then we try to attack them in the other opponent's half. Looking ahead, a balance of defence and attack will be key if Golden Grove intend to keep on winning. First to the ball, our defence were kind of lapsing and the forward, um, he was kind of soft, wasn't moving to the ball as how he's supposed to. Striker Jacobs shares the remedy for his success. I work the keeper and the defender and shoot enough goal. Shreve Sergeant, ABS Sports.